What is up YouTube? How's everybody out there doing today? And of course, happy 4th of freaking July to everybody out there. I hope you guys stay safe tonight while you're setting off mortars and trying to blow your hands and feed off your human body, which would be kind of sucky, so don't do that. And before we get this video started, I'd like you all to do me a very, very big favor. Go down, click the description icon where the description is down below. And check out all my merch plugs and my sponsors down at the bottom as well. Go give them guys some support and some likes. Buy some merch if you are interested. I've got key tags, t-shirts, hoodies. If we some summer times, so we really don't need hoodies. But uh, go check that out, guys. All right, we're gonna do a little modding to ghost here for you guys. I know you guys are anxious to see this thing get started. What a beautiful car! God, what a beautiful car! So what we want to do here today, and at the same time, I'm going to be telling you a little bit of uh, history of the vehicle itself, because I know there's a lot of new subscribers to the channel, a lot of old subscribers to the channel, and I'm sure a lot of you guys are interested on the history of the car if you already do not know about the history of the car. But the mod we're going to be doing today while we're talking about it is I never liked these guys here. Did not like them ugly um i would keep them on here but the problem is this one's white and if we go over to the other side this one's not so white anymore this one has actually turned yellow i don't know why but it has so i'm gonna have mitch take these things off we're gonna use a heat gun and um Probably, uh, I have some scrapers, some plastic scrapers for uh, body panels and stuff. We're gonna use that. We should be able to get this, get these completely off and uh, should be, shouldn't be too hard. And then we'll show you the final look of the car after they're off. It's gonna look really neat. Um, I've seen them before with them off and they do look pretty dang cool with them not on there. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and take them things off. We got Mitch over here heating this up. I'd heat it probably like right into here like that way the glue or the sticky tape that's behind there it's already starting to like come off a little bit it's good yeah basically what you want to do is you just want to heat it up a little bit just get this the tape behind there a little warm and you can use a we're going to use a tie wrap actually because that's all we have here at the shop you can use piano wire or tie wrap if you have a plastic um scraper that's easy on paint you can use that and then uh after this is off what you do is you go ahead and oh let's see what happens Ooh, look at, look at, oh, look at that. Oh, you can probably just peel it off by your hand now. Be careful, don't rip my paint off. Oh my God. Yeah, we are gonna leave the formula emblems on. We're not gonna take them off. We're just taking these guys off here. Go ahead and let Mitch do that. We're gonna talk about a little bit of history on the white ghost here, all right? So I bought this car back in 2001. Um, for a lot of money because it was only like three years old when i bought it. this is a 98 and uh this is literally the first thing i ever uh i ever paid off in my life it was freaking crazy i loved it that's why i love this car so much it was my first big accomplishment in life uh of owning something and paying something off which was really really cool um so i bought her she was a six speed didn't even know how to drive six speed off the lot which is crazy literally took it for a test drive and uh didn't know how to drive stick at all never had any experience just kind of hopped in the seat and went to town and uh that was pretty much it at that point over the years i drag raced it for a long long time i drag raced this car for 12 years sprayed it with 150 shot of nitrous for five years uh the car was in uh pink soul out in 2010 i wasn't in the actual show guys but i was a participant i was a racer in the 2010 Pink Soul Auto Maple Grove up in Moton, the biggest show of that year, 500 racers, I think over 500 racers, the biggest attendance of that year uh, for all of their shows throughout the season on Pink Soul Out. It was a cool event and it was a neat event and I, I really enjoyed it. Probably one of the best uh, drag racing events I've ever done in my entire life was that Pink Soul Lot show. So that was a cool, cool show. But yeah, I drag raced this thing for a very, very long time. And I wanted to share some footage with you guys of drag racing this car. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Here it is.
there you go guys i hope you enjoyed that footage um just watching that footage myself gets me all riled up to start drag racing this car again i had a lot of fun with this car mitch is going to town on these freaking side skirt thingies uh this one's now off here and uh he's taking the tape off but uh yeah how you doing there buddy good <laughs> he has one more side to do but yeah guys so obviously as you know the next plan for this car for ghost here is to put might as well just show you is to put um this engine and transmission or six speed honestly and uh this turbo setup here we'll go back here and take a look at it real quick sitting on the stand put that whole setup into the white car it was in the red car wrecked the red car now it's going in the white car so that's gonna be a pretty fun little project waiting on a few small little parts um suspension stuff things like that to put in the car before we drop the motor out or drop the motor in because i'd hate to put this thing in and then have to go back and tear things apart just to put it back together again kind of redundant that's why the engine is not in the car yet the other thing i want to do to this vehicle i'm gonna lift the hood here is eliminate the ac and heater box and put um just a you know like i think bmr makes one they're like 80 bucks it's a plate that goes in there and it covers up that entire hole and it makes it a hell of a lot easier to um change spark plugs when the engine is sitting in here as well which we will be doing a lot of considering it is a race car but i do want to keep my heat so those lines back there i'm gonna have to figure out a way to uh put those lines through that box and isolate it because i do want to still have my heater uh you know for colder weather maybe if i'm at the track in the fall and i'm getting a little you know a little cold i want to put the heat on before i do my drag race who knows but i do want to eliminate that um this car also has a line lock slp line lock setup on it very nice setup uh we'll be using that a lot and of course the two-step will be going back onto this car it was on the red one so it'll be going back in onto this car anyways so i got mitch over here working hard at the uh don't point the heat gun at the door there boss if you're not gonna be <laughs> you're like eh, i'll just point it right here at the at the paint while i'm up here doing something else you know don't worry about that clear coat don't no. worry about that clear coat bubbling off andy it's totally fine that is man doing a good job look at that that is nice looking all right guys as you can see this side is just about done get a little view of it there um if we get in close you can see there's still some residue um I tried getting that off with like tar and bug remover but more than likely we're probably gonna have to get this buffed out um that way it just looks a little bit more uh cleaner i don't want that uh line being there and everything but uh yeah that's pretty much what it's gonna look like go back a little further here get a better view so that's going from this well, actually going from this basically i'll actually show you this side too so going from that little door seam bumper whatever you want to call it to nothing i think it's a pretty clean look if you guys agree leave me a comment below let me know what you guys think if uh if i should have left them on or just uh taking them off was a better idea i think taking them off was a better idea we're gonna get it all cleaned up make it look all pretty and then it'll be titty city guys all right guys that pretty much ends this video i hope you guys enjoyed the content just a short little history on everything on the car and all that fun stuff but uh she is moving along parts are coming in as we speak it's going to be an awesome crazy time i'm excited i hope you guys are excited this car is going to be racing this season guaranteed it's going to be ready to rock and roll six speed race car boom 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 it's going to be pretty fun guys so i hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe instagram diablo formula racing facebook is also diablo formula racing deuces guys